हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल स्टार्ट अप चैप्टर फाइव थेरोप्यूटिक अप्रोचेस ओके सो इन चैप्टर फाइव यू विल स्टडी अबाउट साइकोथेरेपी व्हिच इज अ वॉलेंट्री रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द क्लाइंट एंड द थेरेपिस्ट आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो then you will also study about various types of psychotherapy some will focus on self understanding others will be action oriented and you will find that all the therapies aim at one thing that is helping the client to overcome his psychological problems the other thing is that all the therapies will involve an interpersonal relationship between the therapist and the client which will be empathetic non judgmental all this i will be discussing in the video further then some of them will be directive in nature and some will be non directive apart from this you will study how effect a therapeutic approach is what are the factors which will affect the effectiveness of a particular therapeutic approach which a psychologist or a psychotherapist will be using so now let's first start with the meaning of psychotherapy okay so psychotherapy is a voluntary relationship between the one seeking the treatment or the client and the one who treats or the therapist and is given under therapeutic condition this definition you will be finding in ncrt for psychotherapy now let's try to understand what is the meaning of the term psychotherapy see it's a voluntary relationship that is no one neither the client is forcing the psychotherapy the therapist to treat him nor the psychotherapist is forcing the client to treat to get treated rather okay so it's a voluntary relationship willing willingly both of them are uh, you undertaking this relationship and in this the main aim is to help the client to overcome his problem to make him independent in dealing with this problems of life it is a helping relationship in which the client is able to express himself freely okay now we'll focus on the characteristics of psychotherapy see all the psychotherapy will are characteristic of psychotherapy what happens in psychotherapy children firstly a psychotherapist select any of the principle which underlie that therapy okay for example behaviorist therapist will be using behavioristic principles okay then second thing is only the persons who have received practical training can do psychotherapy therapy not me or you okay we are not trained i am a teacher and you are a student of psychology for becoming a psychotherapist you have to undergo a training the next characteristic is it involves the therapist and the client which we had seen and the other characteristic of any psychotherapy is that it is going to build up therapeutic relationship which i will be discussing further in the video now i am going to discuss with you goals of psychotherapy goals of psychotherapy include reinforcing client's resolve for betterment okay client should be encouraged to improve for the betterment then next is lessening emotional pressure yes 
a psychotherapist always tries to lessen the emotional pressure which a person is going through through katha helping him to indulge in kathasis that is venting off his emotions then unfolding the potential for positive growth modifying his habit a therapist helps him to modify his habits change his thinking pattern okay from negative to positive then also increase awareness about his self improve interpersonal relationship and communication facilitate decision making becoming aware of one's choice in life and elevating to one's social environment in a more creative and self aware manner now let's discuss about therapeutic relationship it is also called therapeutic alliance which is established between the patient and the therapist a therapist starts his session by establishing a rapport and trustworthy relationship with the patient it's very essential that he establishes a rapport and makes the patient calm provide him such an atmosphere in which he can uh, express his thoughts freely the other characteristics of therapeutic relationship is that it is contractual in nature that is it is almost like a contract that is signed between the patient and the therapist this therapeutic alliance aims at helping the client overcome his problems the other characteristic of this relationship is that it has a limited duration that is this alliance will last until the client is able to deal with his problems and is able to take control of his own life after that there will be an end to this relationship now let's try to understand what is empathy empathy children is putting yourself in other person's shoes that is understanding the things from other person's perspective it is not sympathy okay sympathy is just you know showing pity towards someone whereas empathy is you are putting yourself in his situation and then dealing so a therapist always needs to be empathetic whatever the client is telling him he needs to experience the same thing as if he is in his situation then only he will be able to understand him the client in a better way okay it is easier said than ki we understand you but until and unless you keep yourself in other person's shoe you are not able to understand him other thing is confidentiality that is whatever the patient is going to convey to the therapist he will keep it confidential it's not that after the patient goes then he will be discussing everything with other people in his clinic okay he is going to keep it a secret that is what is confidentiality then the other term which you need to understand is unconditional positive regard it means that the therapist need to accept his client as he is okay no matter what he says or do he has to accept him and he has to provide him warmth so that the client can express his feeling freely 
and in this the therapist needs to be non judgmental whatever the patient is speaking he will listen to it carefully without assigning labels okay non judgmental means do you should not assign label to anyone like you know we are in a habit to say that you are a lazy person the other person feels bad so a therapist is not required to make any label assign any label to the patient therapist continue to show the positive feeling towards the client even if he is wrong or sometime the you know patient might be rude to the therapist but he has to continue in the same manner okay this is what is you have to learn about therapeutic relationship